Anti-vaxxers have concocted a new conspiracy theory about the COVID-19 vaccine that is so bizarre that these anti-vaxxers, who are also simultaneously anti-maskers, are now switching sides and slowly but surely they're becoming more and more pro-mask because they're afraid of vaccinated people. Now, if you're wondering, what does that even mean? Well, let me just read a couple of headlines to you that gives you a, a little bit of insight into what news agencies are having to debunk. Reuters reports, fact check, COVID vaccines do not shed from one person to another and then cause reproductive problems. Associated Press reports, no, COVID-19 vaccines do not shed. USA Today writes, fact check, no, interacting with a vaccinated person won't cause miscarriages or menstrual changes. Now, your first instinct is probably that sounds kind of dumb, 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 dumb. Obviously, right? The fact that this many news organizations have to come out and say this is a little bit bizarre. But what exactly do these anti-vaxxers believe about vaccinated people? Well, for more details on this, we go to a Vice News article, which explains a conspiracy ripping through the anti-vax world may finally drive some anti-maskers to do the unthinkable. Wear a mask and keep their distance. The conspiracy, which comes in several shapes and sizes, more or less says the vaccinated will shed certain proteins onto the unvaccinated, <laughs> who will then suffer adverse effects. The main worry is the shedding will cause irregular menstruation, infertility, and miscarriages. Jesus Christ. The entirely baseless idea is a key cog in a larger conspiracy that COVID-19 was a ploy to depopulate the world, and the vaccine is what will cull the masses. This is literally the plot of Utopia. Anti-vax influencers are instructing their fellow anti-vaxxers as well as anti-maskers, at this point the two communities overlap to a huge degree, that one of the best ways to defend themselves from this blight is to co-opt social distancing, the very strategy they have long decried. Sherry Tenpenny, an anti-vaxxer who was found to be key in spreading COVID-19 conspiracy theories, suggested on a recent anti-vax live stream that you may have to stay away from somebody who's had these shots forever. Oh, if only we were that lucky. Another prominent anti-vaxxer suggested quarantining people who have been vaccinated. There is something being passed from people who are shot up with this poison to others who have not gotten the shot, said Larry Pilevsky, a New York pediatrician and anti-vaxxer on a separate live stream. They should also have a badge on their arms that say, I've been vaccinated, <laughs> even though it's not a vaccine, so that we know to avoid them on the street, uh, to not go near them Anywhere in society, he said, it's not just social distancing that anti-maskers slash anti-vaxxers are begrudgingly accepting. Some conspiracy theorists are wondering if perhaps their longtime bane, the mask, could become their salvation. One perplexed poster on the fringe site 4chan asked their fellow anons if they should wear a mask around the vaccinated because they shed the mRNA stuff. <laughs> wow. How the tables have turned. Now, all of a sudden, the anti-maskers, their argument has come full circle. Now, they're the ones who want to uh, mask up to stop the spread of something that they think is going to make them sick. But really, they're just delusional. And they're seemingly literally pulling all of these uh, lies about the COVID-19 vaccines out of thin air. And... You know, just when I thought that the conspiracy theories about COVID-19 and the COVID-19 vaccine couldn't get any dumber, they like took that as a challenge. And of course, they surprised me. So if you think that it's not going to get dumber than this, trust me, they're going to find ways to become even dumber and, and make even more idiotic and just insane conspiracy theories about this virus. Now, I will say this. As someone who's almost fully vaccinated, I'm about a week and a half away from uh, being two weeks out from my uh, second dose. If all of you crazy lunatics and all these dumb motherfuckers who have spread conspiracy theories about COVID-19 want to keep your distance and stay away from me, Nothing would delight me more. I would love for you to stay as far away from me as you possibly could. If that requires me to uh, wear a shirt or a badge that says I'm vaccinated, I think it's totally worth it. I think it's totally worth it if it drives away 
the dumb fucks. I'm 100% down for that. 100% down. Uh, Because you folks have proven throughout the course of the pandemic that you are absolutely just, you are a detriment to the survival of the human species. You're, you know, complaining against, uh, about the lockdowns, you're against masks, you're against the COVID-19 vaccines. It seems like you're on the side of the virus and now all of a sudden, you're afraid of other people. You told us not to be afraid of the virus, but now all of a sudden, you're the ones who are afraid of a different illness being spread to you. Now, you're delusional, you're making that up, but uh, forgive me for kind of enjoying this. I'm enjoying your fear because you downplayed the significance of COVID-19 for the last year, and now you're kind of reaping what you sowed. So, uh, good. Fuck you. Now, based on my preliminary research, what these dumb fucks are saying is that they're not just worried about shedding, um, but they're worried that uh, through the shedding, I believe, and this isn't necessarily clear to me yet, that people can also transmit, uh, besides the mRNA stuff, they can transmit the virus as well. And it's because they believe, not necessarily that if someone is vaccinated comes into contact with someone who's positive for COVID-19, they can spread it. No, no, no. They believe that if you get the COVID-19 vaccine, you're getting injected with the live virus and therefore you are you are then uh, contagious. It's, it's hard to honestly follow their logic because there is none. none. It's just based on emotions and stupidity overall. But um, this isn't just some fringe movement, contrary to popular belief. These weird conspiracy theories are already being put into practice in the real world. Like, it's having real concrete consequences uh, in society. So, in Miami, there's one private school that idiotically decided to ban vaccinated teachers from being around students. I repeat that. They banned the vaccinated teachers from being around students. Jesus fucking Christ. Now, to make all of us Americans feel a little bit better, there's a business in Canada that uh, banned people who are vaccinated from coming into a store. And I want to play this clip. This is from Global TV. It'll make all of us Americans feel a little bit better. Not all of the crazy people are in our country. But he kind of gives us a little bit of insight into his deranged thinking. And it, it's almost like I almost feel bad for him. But nonetheless, let's watch. An Okanagan business is causing a stir in Kelowna by banning vaccinated people and the wearing of masks. We'd rather not be exposed to people who've been vaccinated and who could shed the virus. Sun City Silver and Gold Exchange's owner, Steve Merrill, says the ban on vaccinated people is to protect his clients and himself. Shedding is real. Uh, It's a problem now and it's going to be a bigger problem as more and more people line up for these experimental vaccines. Signs outside the store tell patrons no masks are allowed inside and the same goes for anybody vaccinated. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Wow. So, um, yeah, look, whether or not this conspiracy theory continues to gain momentum is yet to be seen. Um, so far, it's not as widespread as something like, uh, you know, anti-vax, generally speaking, uh, the baseline anti-vax and that people don't want to take it because they think that they're unsafe or experimental um, or, or QAnon. Like, it's not that popular yet, but does it have the potential to spread Absolutely, unfortunately, but it is a little bit funny. I have to admit that if we we come to a situation where we're in a post-pandemic world and all of the vaccinated people are no longer required to wear masks, but the former anti-maskers are walking around wearing masks because they're afraid of the vaccinated people. Okay, I can't be mad at that. You're only punishing yourself because you're stupid, but um, have at it, I guess. Um, you're going to look silly, but I guess if you feel safe, go ahead.